okay, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, I'm a liar. So I accidentally, I went to pause the recording so I could show you the translation of what I said on part three, and I hit the stop recording button. So there is a part four, woo! <laughs> this is gonna be very part, short, short, short part four, but sorry, part three ended in like a stupid way, um, but let's finish this up because we were so close to being done. Hopefully this man never messaged me again because I'm just so tired of dealing with him. So I sent him this message in the language that he originally sent with me. And you can see it's you can see it says it's Nyanja. Ni Nyanja. Nyanja is the language that he was using. Um English to tag along. Um no, wait, sorry. It says, I'm curious why you're texting me again today. Care to explain? I don't speak Nyanja, but I can translate clearly. So once again, just using the language that he used. Said, so you're in Chua. So I did a little bit of research. I did a little Google. I went to Nigeria. What, where is that used at? What's it mostly used at? It's actually a language that's not used very much, um, according to Google. Um, and so it's in specific areas. So I was able to track down more of where he was. Uh, I said, so you're a Chua, which is his um, background. Somewhere in Malwali. I can't say it. I'm sorry. Cool. Is it nice there? I said, that's near Zimbabwe, right? And so this is me basically going back at him. Like, you know nothing about me, yet you feel comfortable enough to threaten me. And you want to be this big macho man who thinks that he can threaten a woman that he doesn't even know um, because she wouldn't give him $200. You want to be this big man. Well, guess what? I have Google on my side. <laughs> And I can Google these things. He's stupid enough to use a language thinking, I think that he thought that he was going to send me all those um, words in a different language and I wouldn't understand what he's saying. And then um, he was going to be all like weird about it or something like that. I don't know where he was going with that. Like a lot of things that he's done or did. Um, I don't know why he thought this was a good idea, but clearly he doesn't think things through. Um, multiple times I've had to like, like, I've beat him at the punchline, and he gets upset about it, and then he stops talking to me. But I just need him to see that he's in, he's not being a good person with this. And now he's threatening my life personally, and he's threatening me with Satan now. Um, luckily, God's on my side. I don't think that um, currently God's on his side. I think God wants to be on his side, but um, that's up for our friend here to... Um, make that decision and stop making bad choices um, and actually repent for them. But that's a different conversation for another day. Um, so I was able to narrow them down quite a bit. I said, that's near Zimbabwe, right? Or Zambia would, would be would be more accurate. And so that's like, I'm looking at this map and it's like, it's showing me like, it's only in this section, this section, or this section, but most likely this section, because this is where most of the Chua tribes or the Chua um, communities live. And where do you, where did you go, friend? Because notice, like, he's all, like, big and mighty Mr. Crazy Man, and then now he's not talking to me anymore. And then, <laughs> where did you go, friend? I tried calling you for old time's sake. I did kind of try to call him and give him an answer. And it says, can you call me as Jay again, please? I miss him. I like his character. And this is when I already started, um... Like, I told you in the first video that he started talking to me again. This was when I started filming the videos and he started talking to me. And um, I went him to call me as Jay again so that I could record it. Because that's when I realized, like, I can screen record this. And I can show you the BS video that he had of Jay. So that's why I asked for it. I said, try calling you for old time's sake. Can you call me as Jay again? I miss him. I like his character. He says, go and buy me the card. I said, why would I? So he wants me to give him a gift card so he'll call me with a video. He says, so curious, who is the woman that you sent me a picture before? A witch, doctor? He says, idiot, go and buy me a card. <laughs> How am I idiot this time? He says, you are, go and buy me the card. I said, yeah, I asked why. He says, fool. I said, why am I a fool? <laughs> I just see it as like these, um, those old shows when we were kids and like the, um, like, even, like, in Sleeping Beauty, where Maleficent goes, fool! That's all I hear when he says, like, fool! It's like, why am I a fool? I'm not the one threatening someone or them begging for money. I'm not the one begging goat pot. I'm not the one threatening somebody with goat pots and then begging for money afterwards. 
I sent him a picture of the lady. I'm like, who is this? He saw my message and he hasn't messaged me since. And that was April 23rd and it is May 3rd. So it's been a little bit since our friend has talked to us. Um, I'm going to message him on this video. Um, and I will let you know if he responds. Oh, he blocked me! He blocked me! Oh, you big baby! Oh, you poor thing! He blocked me! Oh, I'm actually a little sad. Oh, he blocked me! Oh. Oh. <laughs> so we'll never know who this lady is. So please tell me in the comments if you know who she is. Because apparently she's supposed to intimidate me. I don't know why he assumed. And that's why I'm saying like his thinking is not mature. Um, and some of that's his fault. Some of it's not. But just to assume that we have the same cultures and we have the same thing. So like assuming that we believe in curses like that. Um, that we believe in this lady being scary, whoever she is to them. Um, the fact that he thinks I'm going to be terrified of a goat's head on something and then pots with bones in them and thinks that their spirits are going to come and over to Ohio and hurt me. Those things are telling me how immature he is in his thinking. Um, he's just really bad at this. And I just want to also get through the point that the scammers that are going to talk to you are not always going to suck at their job like this. Some of them can be very convincing, even if it's like not even a romance scam, um, even though people fall for those all the time, whether it's desperation for um, someone to communicate with you, um, desperate for love. It's just someone that you truly fall in love with. You fall in love with this fake person. Um, scammers even like pretend to be working for Norton or McAfee or um, Microsoft. Some of them are very convincing. There's scam baiters like Kit Boga or um, Scammer Payback or um, Trilogy Media. Mostly um, I've only seen it like with Scammer Payback or Kit Boga. But like there are times when a scammer answers the phone and they are using like Kit Boga is calling a different a new number. And he calls, and there's a moment when he wonders, is this the real deal? Is this the real company? And he'll hang up because it sounds like the real deal. There are good scammers out there. Not good in the way of they're good people. They're just good at doing it. They're good at their job. Um, those are the people that you need to work out, watch out for. Jay Arnold was very obvious. Um, he was obvious from, like, the first moment that he sent me a friend request. Um but, however, um, for some people, maybe that wouldn't have been. Um, there's some people that perhaps he wouldn't have been as obvious um, that he's a scammer. Maybe someone else doesn't have the experience of listening to scam calls all the time or just isn't aware of these things. Maybe they are naive. Um, they might be ignorant in things and they don't really want to look into it and wonder why this person is saying the things they are doing or doing or saying what they're saying or doing. Um, they just don't want to think into that part of the world or they just, maybe they, they mentally can't. Maybe they have a, a disability of some sort where they can't think clearly. So they're not able to put like, to connect the dots and realize that this is not okay. There's red flags everywhere. Maybe they are um, very elderly and they have dementia or they have decision plan misunderstandings and they just don't understand they take advantage of the weak people um at weak times and that's why i wanted to get this this conversation out even though it was mostly hilarious the entire freaking time um i wanted this to be known and that's why i did like the snap card um scam as well i wanted you guys to see that these things do exist and there's people that will fall for this um some scammers put more effort in it than others um, I'm hopeful one day that this Jay Arnold will unblock me and he'll message me again so that I have something else to talk to you about. But there will be other scams. There always will be other scams. And that's the problem. Like, I'm hoping that this guy, um, quit scamming. I hope that he failed in every avenue that he tried for this. Um, I hope that if he said these things to different people, like, um, called them idiots or told them that they're stingy or hardened or sent them cursed photos um, and that person actually believed in those or was actually afraid of those things. Um, 
who believe that um who believes in God but then is afraid of these things but doesn't believe that God will protect them because they're fearful or something like that. I hope that he did not have a success in that. And I hope if he was successful in those things that these people realize that they're okay and they're safe. Um, this man is never going to get to be able to hurt you. Um, he's just a really weak component in the scammer world. He's very small and a very small, meaningless aspect to the scammer universe um but he is a part of it and i hope that no one fell for him and i hope that no one was upset with what he said like wasn't offended um wasn't afraid with those curse photos wasn't afraid by this woman whoever the heck she is i hope that um these people that could have been affected by this are confused or upset um they know now that he's just a bad person and they did nothing wrong by not helping him and if you're watching this Abusai, Joe, whatever the heck your name is, um, I hope you figure this out, that you are better than this. Um, if you do actually believe in God like you claimed, I hope you do. And I hope that you ask for forgiveness for this so you can move forward. I hope that you, if you don't have a job, I hope you do find a job. I hope that you get an honest job and I hope that you have honest, you get honest money. I think that you're hanging out with the wrong crowds. If you have friends that are encouraging you to act like this, if they're doing the same thing, I hope you get away from them because this is not okay. You're too young to be making these life decisions that are going to screw you over in the long part. If you have a family, you are hurting them. If you get caught one day, if you start working for a scam call center or anything like that, like I warned you before, get out of it. Get out of it while you can. Just quit, okay? Because if you have the audacity to upset them if you leave them um, and they think that you're going to take all their customers away um, if you don't leave them correctly for the right reasons and they don't believe you they will have you killed okay that's how they operate and you know that I know you know that I know that you know that that's risky your job and they, they have a lot of people that are scam baiters who are getting call centers and they are getting call centers busted by the police. There are call centers that are protected by the police, but there's other call centers that are not and they are getting busted and people are going to jail for years. And if you or your family are impacted by that, that's horrible. I'm sorry if you do not have what you need or you want. But this is not the way to handle things. This is not what you do. You do not call people names. You do not intimidate them. You do not gaslight them. You do not love bomb them. You do not abuse them. You do not threaten them. You do not blackmail them. You do not send them cursed photos in hopes to upset them and worry them and make them feel like they're going to be killed by something. You do not do those things. You need to act like a man. I understand that there's a cultural differences and there's always going to be a language barrier where I will not understand everything that you do or why you do those things. And you will also not understand why I did what I was doing. And you're probably still confused to this day what that was all about, what happened, what was going on. And that's probably why you blocked me because you were tired of me having the, um, a step ahead of you at every turn. And I'm very fortunate that I'm smarter than you in that aspect. Um, I was able to be able to predict where you were going with this. Um, and I was able to disconnect myself from feeling like this was a personal attack on me. I just hope that you're better. You work on yourself and you understand that what you're doing, what you did is not okay. You cannot take advantage of people and then expect at the end of the day that you're a good person. Now, if I believed you, there's no saying that I probably wouldn't have helped you. I wouldn't have helped you in the same ways that you wanted me to help you. Because I'm not going to help you by giving you a gift card. I would have helped you by helping you find organizations near your country. If you would have told me exactly where you were at, I could have helped you. I could have helped you possibly find a job. I could have helped you find a um, resource in your area. There is ability to do that. I would have helped you in those ways. But you just wanted the quick ray to go. You wanted the solution that you wanted was just to get quick money for nothing and it, life is not like that you're too young to be thinking that the world owes you anything the world owes you nothing you are not owed a single thing in this world when you're born and when you die the world owes you nothing and you get what you earn 
So if you're not going to work towards anything, you're never going to have anything. I hope that you um, grow from this. Not in the way that you're hoping, which is to be a better scammer. I don't think you have that ability, if I'm honest. Um, but I hope you grow from this and realize that this was not worth it. I hope that um, every person that you possibly hurt figured out before it was too late. And I hope that people seeing this video see your face, see uh, the kind of person you are, and they will be aware of people like you and yourself, and they will avoid helping you. Helping you be a useless person to society. Helping you be a scammer. Helping you hurt people who are good people, who just are naive and ignorant to the world being evil. You were doing evil things, and I hope you stop. You're young enough that you can turn this around, and you can do good things with your life. You can make positive impacts. If you actually want to be a barber, if you are a barber, that is great. You can do things like that. You can even do, I don't know your country's rules or laws or regulations. Uh, you can do cuts, haircuts at your home. You can help people that way. You can get paid that way. You don't have to be at a barber shop unless that's something that's regulated by your country. I don't know. Um, even though I narrowed you down, I don't exactly know where you're at. If you told me, I would have helped you. But you don't get to have it the easy way. And I want you to understand that. I know a majority of the end of this video is me talking to this person, but I want everyone to hear that as well. Um, if you are taking advantage of a person, please stop. If you know someone that's being taken advantage of, please make sure they're aware of it. And there are some people, that even when you bring it up to them, like especially with a romance scam, if you watch the um, romance scammers uh, videos that I talked about in the first video, um, you will notice that some people, like they just can't accept that this is fake. And they've probably been with this, talking to this person for years and they just can't let go and they will just send money to them. They don't even care anymore, even though when you prove to them beyond reasonable doubt that these people are fake, um, they still don't believe it because they need it to be real. They need that they spent that $100,000 to these people. They need it to be real because it's easier than knowing that they were taken advantage of and they were hurt. And so they'll keep doing it. And so there's people that you may even have to like jump in and you might have to take the their rights away for their, like, you might need to be a power attorney and make it to where they can't write checks or send money to anyone without you approving it. Those are unfortunately things that need to take place if you cannot get them to stop. Um, it doesn't matter. I know it's frustrating. Try not to be frustrated with them. They just, that's where they're mentally at right now is they can't move past it and they need it to be real. So please be patient with them, but please keep guiding them in the right direction um, please protect them from themselves if you have to. Um, get them a POA, power of attorney. Get something so where they need help. It's Some people won't like to do it because it does take away a pen, their independence away. But it, sometimes taking away independence is not really what's happening. It's actually giving them more. Like a power of attorney, like a medical power of attorney, um, People see that as you're giving away your rights to somebody else to make the decisions. But if it's given to someone that cares for you um, and truly is looking out for the best for you and, and, and loves you, um, you're not giving away your rights. If someone's trying to do this to you like, and you feel like they're taking away your rights like a power of attorney, I'm using medical power of attorney as an example, um, you're actually getting more. You're getting more rights because you have someone on your side, you have someone on your team that they know exactly what you need, what you want. Um, they're on your page. They're on the same page as you. They know, and they can help make decisions when you cannot. Those are the things that you need to see when someone's trying to help you with that. They're not trying to take away your rights. They're not trying to make you be less independent. Um, they're just trying to help you the best they can. And if you are sending money to somebody that you've never met, um, if you can't seem to get a video chat with them or they won't send you a picture or they won't meet you where you say when and where you're going to meet, it's not real. And I know that hurts and that sucks and you feel betrayed and you're confused and you have doubt that it's 
fake because it could be real. Like they could have legitimate things. Like they could have missed their flight or their kid could be sick and then the hospital and they need help and their bank account got frozen and they just need help getting um, their next work job order done so they can come home from a different country to see you and be with you and you can be a family together. I hope it's true. I hope it's real. I want it to be real for you, but odds are it's not. Um, somebody commented on my own videos that he's like, you can always assume that if someone's messaging me in their in their 20s, they're fake. Um, I'm assuming that you're an older gentleman and um, you have women that are younger messaging you. And um, I'm assuming that you, it makes it sound, sounds like that you're very aware and you automatically know that it's fake. Um, I'm sorry that they do that. I'm sorry that there's people that, and half the time those aren't even women. Um, and it's man behind the screen. And I'm sorry that people do that. There's not, much, there's not much I can do about it other than spread the word about this and spread encouragement that things can get better. And one day you will have someone close to you that um, isn't going to take advantage of you. And they're not going to take everything that you own away from you. They're not going to take your home away from you because they, they need more money and that's the last thing you have. They're not going to leave your family with nothing when you're gone. Because that's what they're going to do. And all you're doing is hurting yourself and your family. This person just wants an easy way out. And I hope that you can see it before it's too late. And I hope you can work through it. And like I said before, this man was very obvious that he was doing what he was doing. But just keep an eye out for the signs. Um, one of the main signs is asking for money. Like, off the get-go, just asking for money. They don't need it. There's some scammers that won't even ask you for money for, like, months into conversations. This guy asks pretty quick. Um, there's some that will wait. They'll make up that relationship with you, and they'll have an excuse why they can't video chat or something like that. Or maybe they have that face, but they're still lying about things. Um, there are scammers in America. It's not just in other countries that there's scammers. There are scammers that live in America with you. I'm assuming most of my audience is from America. Um, there are scammers out here, too, that will hurt you just the same, and they're still not who they say they are. Um, if you're a money mule, you can tell very easily that you're a money mule when people are calling you and saying, there's going to be a package delivered to your door, and I need you to take the money to the bank and then send it to this bank you can keep 20% for yourself you are being used to launder money and it's illegal and you can go to jail you can go to jail for that you can get in trouble you'll probably get in trouble before the scammer that originally started ever gets in trouble because they're in a different country they can't be touched but the government can get you in trouble if they can prove that you're doing it even if you claim ignorance about it they can still get you in trouble so my advice for you is if you are caught for that and you honestly did not know that you were a part of it, cooperate as much as you can. Give them all the information that you have, and hopefully that will get you out of it. But you can get in trouble for helping them get money to other places, to other people. Sometimes money is moved around like 15 times to different banks, to different people. If you get a package with cash in it, that is illegal to mail cash like that. Do not do it. If anyone is telling you to just... Take a check and then put it in your bank account and then um, write them a check or anything like that. Or if you win something and then they want money to give you the money, that is a scam. Please just protect yourselves. Please be safe. Please share these videos. I, I find my ending to this conversation with this man funny. Um, and like I said before, he's not upset me in any way other than he's frustrating and he took a lot of my time. Um, but there's some people that could have went through this and were really upset. So um, I'm glad that I'm able to end off all of my scam conversations because I know that they're a scam from day one. But there's people out there that don't realize that. So please share this. Please share part one, two, and three and part four. I'm sorry it was um, put into a fourth part, but it was already long anyway. And I wanted to make sure that um, I kept going even though the uh, third video was abruptly stopped on my end on accident. So I appreciate you guys being here and spreading the word. Please, please, please um, check this out. Look into it. 
check out Kit Boga, check out pay, Scammer Payback Tech, check out Trilogy Media, check out all these people that um, are working hard to make awareness and to get these people taken down um, so that we can just stop taking advantage of people who do not know any better. Like I said, there's people that have dementia and they can't help it. They don't understand. Um, and then they have scammers screaming at them on the phone and they are upset. There's people, this is so true, there's people that have killed themselves because they think that the IRS is out to get them. They're, feel free to look it up. There is a lady that um, a couple of years ago, she was called by scammers. Um, they were stationed in Nigeria and they claimed to be the IRS. So Security Administration or the IRS, and she owed, according to them, thousands and thousands of dollars that she did not have. And she killed herself because she could not afford to pay them. And she just thought she was going to go to jail for the rest of her life, and she was done, and she killed herself. All because of a scammer. And I know I'm saying words that YouTube hates, but you know what? Screw it. They led her to kill herself because... They are scammers, and they wanted money, and they're selfish, and that's horrible. And I hope that never happens again, and that's why I'm sending out these videos, because I want other people to see that as well, and to know that if there's ever a question, if there's ever a red flag, look into it. Please do your research. Please, please, please know that scammers can spoof phone numbers. We've had that where I work. We've had a, a scammer company that's called people in my area, in my area, spoofing our phone number for the funeral home I work at and claiming to be us and saying that they need to pay their bill with a credit card. Even if they don't have a bill, they still tell them that you owe us money and we're going to um, report you if you don't pay and you'll go to jail. We had to put a um, whole thing out in the newspaper. We had to make phone calls. We had to do all these things for our families to let them know this is not us. We are not like that. We are not doing this. Because not only did it make us look bad, but it was making people feel stress. Sorry, I had a phone call, but um, we had to tell people that we are not doing this. So they can spoof their number. They can pretend to be whoever they want to be. They can pretend to be your bank account. They can pretend to be anything they want and it's up to you to see the signs and understand and like if someone's act telling you you have to act now um right this instant or um the possibly like something bad will happen to you you'll go to jail if you don't do it right now or the um the deal of a lifetime is going to go away in a matter of moments unless you pay for it right now you need to make a decision now if they're pushing for you to make a quick decision that is a red flag avoid it get rid of them move on. Um, if it is um, someone that's claiming to be from your bank and they even have the same phone number as your bank, ask them questions that only your bank banker would know. Like, where are you stationed from? And of course, they can lie. Um, ask them uh, questions about your account that they can't see unless they were an actual banker. Um, don't let anyone on your computer. If they say that they have to be on your computer to access your information or cancel an account, no. They do not need to be on your computer to cancel your McAfee account. They do not need to be on your computer to fix anything that you don't, that you possibly have wrong with you. If they have hackers or anything, physically take your computer somewhere else. Take it to Best Buy or something like that. Don't let some random person over the phone get access to your things. Protect yourself. Protect others. Please share these. Please like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys being here. Please just help others not be treated this way. Your like, your share, your comment could stop someone else from being scammed. And I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a great day. Like I said, remember like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!